We are coming to you from the sidelines of the World Economic Forum 2012 being held here at Davos. With me is Harish Manwani, COO at Unilever and Chairman at HUL India. So thanks very much for your time. Great Pleasure to have you. Here. Uh, Unilever is co-chair at WEF this year and you're here, you've uh, been a regular, you're here to support the cause. What's the, I mean, uh, what's the underlying message that you've, uh, I mean, it's just day two, but what's the underlying message that you're taking home? Well, I think uh, uh, the, the, uh, the theme, as you know, of Davos this year is the great transformation. And I think everyone recognizes that you cannot have business as usual, whether you are a government or you happen to be a, a business. Uh, this is really sort of you have to start rethinking about the new business models and I think to put it in a nutshell uh, the world needs growth let's face it okay but it's we have to grow differently mm. and I think that is pretty much really what the uh, what the engagement is all about what is differently uh, I think the the dimension of growth that's becoming very relevant across the world is one of responsible growth mm. how do you grow your businesses but at the same time make sure you're growing responsibly, you're growing sustainably. And it is, of course, something that Unilever has embraced uh, through the Unilever Sustainable Living Plan, mm. saying the world needs growth, our business needs growth. So mm. we're going to double our business, but at the same time, we want to reduce our environmental impact by half. Right. We want to source all our raw materials, agricultural raw materials, uh, sustainably by 2020. And uh, we want to provide one billion people uh, with, with a better livelihood uh, and better, you know, nutrition and hygiene. And it is this aspect of business, right, I think, right. that is coming to the forefront now, rather than just grow, 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 without uh, concern about uh, whether it is responsible right. or sustainable growth. Right, responsible growth has been talked about over the last couple of years as well. But I think one issue which has come up is, uh, so how do, you, how do you get to responsible growth? For that, you need disruption. You're a consumer uh, a brand, I mean, a giant, so you've not got that much flag. But financial services industry, a lot of other industries, uh, have gotten, I mean, have come under quite a bit of fire. And so the message is, at least on some sections, that you need some serious disruption, one way or the other, to actually just, I mean, get to the responsible growth that we all talk about. Uh, how do you think about it? Well, I, I don't think it is about disruption. Uh, I think uh, responsible growth is about organizational character. It's not about disruption. Uh, it, it is not that businesses have always been irresponsible. Actually, businesses have been responsible by and large. Mm -hmm. It's by exception that you see what goes on. Mm -hmm. So take, take, uh, take our business, for example. I mean, as long as I can remember and as long as the company has been founded, actually, we've always believed that you can do well and do good at the same time. Mm. There are many companies whose philosophy has been based really mm. on making sure that whatever we do is done in a manner that benefits the society and benefits the business. Mm. And, and, and therefore, I don't think this is an exception. Mm. Uh, what we have seen in recent past is an exaggerated, uh, 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 distortion is not about needing disruption, a distortion of the system. And I think now what the businesses are trying to do and what uh, the companies are, I'm talking particularly about the financial sector, mm. and countries are trying to do is to get back mm. to a place where we can do this in a sensible way. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com slash apps.